Greetings crafters and welcome to episode 157 of Better Than Wolves with T Kush 35. It's been a wee bit since I've been able to play the holiday week. Uh, took a, a bit more of my time than I would have anticipated. So I'm back and uh, today's episode is going to be kind of quick-ish depending because I'm trying to catch up and also not uh, use up too much time in my efforts to catch up. So what I'm doing here is making a turntable if I... Nope, I'm going to need gears. Uh, because I want to show off Wired's most recent update to his texture pack. He told me that pistons had a whole new look to them. So let's check them out. Got the gear, got the clock. Turntable, sorry. Turntable, not piston. Okay, so first of all, you might be able to see in the little um, tooltip here that there's an arrow on the bad boy. Ooh, and there's an arrow on top. So you can definitely see that there's a difference. Now, if I interpreted his um, his information correctly, does it actually turn? Oh, it turns while it's going. Oh, that's so cool. That's fantastic. Wired, that is great. So that's the newest feature of Wired's texture pack. Moving turntables pretty amazing but for today's episode we are actually pulling a we're gonna make a mini machine from a picture that someone posted on the discord channel and that is a brief little auto paver so for that we're gonna need three block dispensers a buddy block yeah that looks like a buddy block uh, some redstone and a redstone repeater. So I unfortunately don't have any block dispensers at the ready. So we're going to have to go ahead and make some of those. Luckily, I do think I should have most of the materials that I need. I have an acceptable amount of redstone. I'm actually uncertain if it's going to be enough. So that'll be fun. So let's start there. Get those redstone eyes. And then we'll need... Oh, we might need more stone brick. No, we're good on that. Okay, that's beneficial. Gonna need some shafts. Where are we at? Where are we at? There we are. Shafts. Uh, let's double check that I'm not just wasting my time. Or not block, block detector. Buddy block. Buddy block. Yeah, it's definitely a buddy block. Okay, yep, that's that's the recipe that I thought. Need four torches. And then you do the whole... Oh, I'm going to need another set of redstone eyes, too. Because you go around in a circle. Boop, 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 boop. Surround it in bricks. And the middle with the redstone torches. Haha, -ha, buddy block. All right. So then, block dispenser should just be, been a hot minute since I've played. Uh, da -da -da -da. I need some more. I'm going to need three of these, so I need six. Oh man, am I going to have to go mining? I might have to go mining for this project. That was both terrible and neutral, I guess. All right, so three of those. I actually, if I just raid the rest of this redstone, that might be just enough. Ooh, and I have some redstone torches. Oh, nuts, I had some redstone torches. Well, silly me. Should have checked that before making a whole bunch of them. Uh, that is not the right material. I need a clock. Yes, and then this, plus these, excellent, and then redstone, and actually that should potentially be enough. The only thing we'll be missing is probably some redstone. So let's go ahead. I luckily had some potash already. What I then need is some hellfire dust. 
which I don't oop, come back here you I don't think I have Ooh, I do have some at the ready excellent so we got to make the um, what's that called nether sludge yeah I want to make some nether sludge I think that should be it right nether sludge yeah, Hellfire and Potash. Yep, there it is. Okay, so that'll make us a decent amount, and then we'll put some more over here, and that'll make us a decent amount. We'll have a fair amount of nether sludge, and for testing purposes, I'm going to use cobble instead of trying to make... Oh, wait. I've got loose stone brick that we can turn into regular brick. That'll be just fine. Thank you very little. Uh, and for the safety of this little bad boy, I don't know. I guess let's just put it over here, huh? keep it out of reach of whatever it might encounter and it's kind of out of the way so let's go grab those materials nether sludge nether sludge and I can make a whole bunch more of it as long as I have more hellfire dust so then we want to get the correct orientation I don't want you, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Do 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 do. Block dispenser. Block dispenser. Buddy block. I assume facing that way. The person didn't post a whole lot. It's just this image of something that they were working on, and unfortunately, I do not recall, and it's way too far back in the chat as to who actually made this image. So, the maker of the image is not me. This is from someone else. This is their brainchild. I'm just trying to duplicate it. That is all. So the signal, oh yeah, the signal probably comes from out here and then that's the delay. And then this goes up into the block dispenser that counts as the timing changer and then this sucks up the block yeah that makes sense so then I just have to figure out you know which side is trying to be which uh, so this has a redstone torch and this has wow I'm gonna have just enough holy mackerel okay so this will be the supply that'll shoot it out and then the second tick is that applying it right that makes sense so let's get some nether sludge here. Okay, so all we needed was this to throw out a single signal. Is it probably every other? Probably. So we'll just go like that. Maybe. Not quite. This isn't working quite the way I think it needs to be. This might be the buddy block T flip flop, which I don't seem to be doing correctly, and they don't seem to have a redstone signal coming out of it. Maybe it is like that. It doesn't maintain the signal long enough, which doesn't surprise me. Hmm. Maybe it's the other way around then. Maybe the supplies in here and the sludge is in the other side. Oh yeah, because it used up some sludge. Did it do it right? I don't know. Let's try it the other way around, because this is the side that has the delay, so that would make more sense than anything. So if you set a brick... Oh, right. Uh, it did something. <laughs> it's not quite what I was looking for, but it did do something. Now... There's whatever it is that I'm doing wrong here. It has to be this is putting out the signal over here. But they didn't have anything down below. Maybe... So if I put this here... That did absolutely nothing. That seems kind of odd. Placing a block doesn't trigger the buddy block? Hmm. 
Well, clearly I need to work out some kinks in my interpretation of what the logic should be. It's, it's kind of difficult when you're only working off a single image. It's like the view is from like up here. So, say we're back in this land. How do we introduce a delay? So I press this. But that does nothing. But I need it to do something. Buddy block, why you no do the thing? Why you no do the thing, buddy? I thought we were buddies. Need to do a quick test. Is it, does it need to be that the way, it, oh, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, no. Placing a block does not trigger the buddy block. How did I not know this? That makes no sense. I guess going from nothing to a block update doesn't count. But I do need to turn this around is one part of my issue. Oh god, what are you doing? So, if we go like that, and... Okay, so that placed that, and this had a signal. So it just spat out the nether sludge. Does this just have to be like that? Hmm, I feel like the delay needs to be on the other end. Or I need to flip-flop these two. I'm not sure which. The flip-flopping doesn't seem to work, though. Maybe that screenshot was mid. No, that doesn't make sense. Hmm... Well, I'm going to do some playing around and see what I can figure out, and then I'll be back. Toodles. Okay. So, <clears throat> I misunderstood what the post was about. I found it. I went back through the Discord chat. It's from more than a month ago, from EXPHP. And if I'm reading correctly, what it's supposed to do, I, mu I didn't do it quite right right there. I assume that it needs a second one. Mm, or I have them in the wrong side. I've made a clock. Congrats to me. Give me that. I'm going to try putting it on this side. Well, I'm still doing something wrong. Clearly. But uh, if I read the posts around it correctly, the general gist was you apply sludge to this and it picks it up and dispenses a new one for you. So that's not going to work. So I'm not quite sure what. I need to do some more experimentation about being able to do this on your own. Mortaring machine. You apply slime to the cobble to turn it into non-loose cobble, and then it gets sucked up and replaced with more loose cobble. So, that tells me... That it should be... That it's partially manual. Okay, so the problem here is this is triggering on every block placement. So that can't be right. It's got to be... Come on. So my guess is it's over here. And this is the one sucking it up. But I'm wrong. Does this need more delay? Maybe. If it just needed more delay...
Yeah, I think it's it's got to be over here. We're just going to mess around on camera because why not? Okay, yep. We got it, ish. Uh, maybe it only needs every other. Yeah, okay, and then I apply. Yep. Okay, so this is a semi-manual thing. So what you could do... I wonder if you could have... Because this is sucking them up, right? Yeah, and this is spitting them out. So what if you had another block dispenser that was over here applying the sludge? That'd be pretty cool. That might that might be what I need. But what I really need right now is more redstone. So we're going to have to go mining. Oh boy. So I'm going to clean up my inventory and I'll be back for that. Alrighty, I've gathered up some more torches and some food, so I should be ready to rumble down in the mining shafts. Got to find some redstone is what we're going after. So I will be back if any mining adventures of interest come about. Of note, um, I went uh, left once down the stairs, which got me to this big old pit and tunnel system here. I'm going to just mine a little bit this way. See if I can find anything quickly instead of having to spelunk or anything of that sort. Um, not going to do any branch mining because that'll take time. And I'm really just hoping to sort of run into some redstone happenstance or maybe another mine shaft or some sort of cave thing that I can quickly find uh, the like four pieces of redstone that I need. Really, I just need one one little vein of redstone and then I'm okay for now. I'll have to do some bigger mining adventure later, but that can wait for in between episodes or an episode all about mining, anything of that ilk. So just going to keep mining this way until I find something or get tired of it. Okay, so this uh, tunnel panned out pretty quickly here. Got an okay amount of redstone. If this is like 10 or so. Ooh, 18. Even better. Okay, so, yep. Just gonna totally run back to base now. And we'll make that other block dispenser. And see what we can do with that sort of timing. So I've made one block dispenser. And I'm thinking I'm gonna need one more... One more repeater. So I'm just gonna grab... The gold necessary for that have the torches already yep all right cool so okay so in theory now if I were to stop it stop it I said stop I swear I took those out all right, we get a block dispenser there, and what we want to do is not too terribly long after this one fires, we want to fire the other one. So, uh, that I have full delay. I might have to add another one here, but let's go ahead and, first of all, not derp like that. Oops, sorry. And second of all, try that. Okay, so we have that loaded. We have this loaded. And so if I place this, and theoretically I could either make a button, probably somewhere, but I'm going to start it like this. Nope, this fired too soon. Way too soon. So what happened? This shot... Uh, Did I put him in the wrong inventory? Yes, I did. I'm, I'm just an idiot. Okay, so that'll help, first of all. Uh, second of all... Yep, get that out. Okay. 
put this back. Thank you. Oh, that might be a problem too. Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of timing shenanigans that are happening with this. Yeah, see, the, the empty ones have to be in here. What kind of crack am I on right now? What if I preload it? So I put a thing. I put in the other things. And then I put in some sludge. Go. Yeah, this didn't... Oh, this needs to come off of that one. Okay. Okay. And then I inherently get the increased delay that I was looking for in the first place. Boop. Oh, no. Can block dispensers not apply sludge? I, I guess I just assumed that they could. That's unfortunate. Now I just feel like an idiot. Yeah, that sucks. Can it really not apply sludge? Like, it just can't? That's just not a thing that it can do? Ugh, bummer. Bummer. Boo. It kind of makes sense, though. It kind of makes sense. It sucks, but it makes sense. So I guess this was all just for a machine that would help me do this. It's faster than me having to do it by hand, but I guess there's no way to automate it. Didn't you, boomer? I guess there are worse things to do in my waiting time. But I have a block dispenser for a future project. So... To quick recap, what this is, is a mortaring machine that's only half automated. It's automated and then it places down a block for you and picks it back up. Um, you have the constant redstone signal spitting out the bricks that you want to mortar. The other block dispenser is for collecting the bricks. You have a block dispenser T flip-flop, which will make it so that only one half of the signals going to here will uh, fire. You have a buddy block facing away from the block you're mortaring on a delayed circuit to spit out the new block that you want to mortar and a more immediate one to pick up the block that you have mortared. So that's the basic basic build. Uh, all credit goes to EXPHP. Not sure how they say their name, but that's, that's their tag name in the Discord channel. Um, but this will at least help me mortar for when I'm eventually doing that sort of thing. But with that, I'm going to bid the adieu for now, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.